Welcome back, my happy corrupt and war gamers. I am super freaking excited to have you all here. This is going to be the first drop that Games Workshop has really given us about new rules for the Adeptus Custodes in a detachment I was really interested in. And I'm going through it, and I got to be honest with you guys. So I'm going to run through this. I'm going to give you all my thoughts and the initial combos that are coming to mind. And of course, when the codex comes out in full, I'm going to give you crazy combinations and amazing stuff that uh, how we're going to actually pilot these boys. But as as, as positive and as much as I'm a, I've actually been a huge fan of Games Workshop, as far as 10th edition has been concerned, this one fails to hit the mark for me. So let, let's run through it. Uh, I'm probably going to be a little bit of Debbie Downey here, at least on this detachment. But that doesn't necessarily mean everything's terrible. We don't have the full context. Everything I'm saying is without the full context of the codex because I do not have the codex. I did ask Games Workshop for a review copy. They declined to give it to me. Perhaps next time, with your help, if you guys hit the like and subscribe buttons and share these videos with your friends, then uh, maybe I can get it. Uh, anyway, I really appreciate all of your support. So let's just jump right into this video. So... Show that teamwork rules the galaxy in new Adeptus Custodius detachments. This is a pretty interesting little concept here. So essentially what they're doing is they're looking to build really cool synergies between the Sisters of Silence and the Adeptus Custodes. Now, in 9th edition, they kind of forced you to take some Sisters of Silence because you had that huge aura of minus one to cast your psychers. And then they were immune from smites, so you could use them for screening smites. So they were actually very, very usable. Up until the current point... In 10th edition, Sisters of Silence have been hot garbage and have been basically unusable, with the exception of the Witch Seekers, because their scout move is very advantageous, which can allow you to score secondaries in turn one. It can allow you for some efficient trading. So the Witch Seekers have been good, but all the characters have been garbage. Um, the Prosecutors, people say they're good. I completely disagree with them. <laughs> I think they're just taking up points for no reason at all. They're like, oh, but they can do actions. It's like, yeah, but as, if you guys know my Custodes um, theory, or my Custodes, I don't know, plan... The way I, I play Custodes, the way I teach everyone to play Custodes has always been, you're going to hold more, you're going to max primary, you're going to deny primary, and then you're going to score 7 out of 16 secondaries that are scored simply by holding primary, or by, by hold primary. So it's, essentially what's going to happen is you're going to get 50 on primary, you're going to get 20-ish on secondaries, and then you're going to deny your opponent primary, so it doesn't even matter if they max secondary, they still can't win. And that is how Custodes have played up until now. So it looks like Games Workshop is trying to change that. So the detachment rule, let's go through it. Psychana units from your army gain the following ability. Null Aegis. Cool name. While an Adeptus Custodes unit is within 6 inches of this unit, models in that unit have the Feel No Pain 5-up ability against Psychic and Mortal Wounds. Now this is kind of cool, because what it's going to allow for is it's going to give your Custodes... Um, because currently everyone has a 4-up against Mortal Wounds, so this is going to give you a pseudo 4-up against Mortal. So it's going to be a little bit less good than the current um, detachment, but at the same time, it's giving you basically the same thing while you get access to a whole bunch of new stratagems and other interesting things. So I think that is kind of a cool concept that we're starting on. No, Nothing to really complain about now. Then, all other Adeptus Custodia units from your army gain the following ability, Deadly Unity. While an... Psychana unit is within six inches of this unit. Each time a model in that Psychana unit makes an attack, add one to the hit roll. This is essentially useless unless, and to be fair, unless we get new uh, uh, Anathema Psychana units that Matt might actually be, say, multi-melted squads, things like that. Then this might be actually really, really nice. So remember, when I'm talking about any of the Debbie Downer things that I might have in this conversation of this article, it is without context of the whole codex. So if we're seeing like these some new Sisters of Silence with some new ranged weaponry, now suddenly we might be seeing some really cool synergies, which could be really, really sick. Then they gave us two different stratagems, and these stratagems are um, interesting. So let's talk about the Talon Pincer. This is a battle tactic, so it can be used again for free if you have a shield captain, for example. When your opponent's movement phase just after an enemy unit ends a normal advance for fallback. Target up to two Adeptus Custodes units that are within nine inches. They can make a normal move. This is sick. A reactive move in Custodes is awesome because currently we have the only reactive move that we have in the current index is going to be due to the Ceaseless Hunter upgrade, which is an amazing enhancement. But this is really cool. So this stratagem will replace it and I would argue be significantly better. Um, now, there is a restriction. You cannot select units in engagement range of one or more enemy units. Seems fairly obvious. And you can only select two units if one and only one of them is an, an oh is a sisters of silence unit and they're both within six inches of it interesting so um it's it's a one unit and then if it's two it's one custodian and one sisters of silence unit so it's not ever going to be two custodian units that's a little sad and then we read the talons interlocked which is also a battle tactic which is kind of cool because once again shield captains can let you use it for free 
when you're shooting phase. Interesting. So a shooting stratagem for Adeptus Crusades. So this is kind of cool because what it lets me think about is that perhaps we're going to be getting our bikes back. Maybe bikes are actually usable again. Uh, maybe we're getting some love and support for the Sagittarium. It makes me think that maybe we're actually getting some good shooting that's going to come up into Crusades, which is really interesting to me. All right. So until the end of the phase, your units can only target that single enemy unit. So this is similar to the way that the Chaos Knight stratagem works. But each time a model in one of your two units makes a ranged attack, improve the strength and AP by one. This is kind of cool because suddenly we can get like a, if we're just thinking uh, Sagittarium for today's standards, these would be strength six AP two, which is actually significantly improved, which is kind of a cool concept. Then uh, the restrictions, you can only select two units if one of them is an Anathema, Psy Anathema Psychana unit and both are within six inches. All right, so it's, it's not great, right? Because <laughs> um, one of the units has to... Oh, wait, hold on. Let me read this again, because I, I might be reading this wrong. You can only select two units if one and only one of them is an Anathema Psychana unit, and both are within six inches of each other. So I'm confused as to whether this says I can select two Adeptus Custodes infantry units if one of them is within six inches of the Anathema Psychana unit. Or if this is, you can only get one Custodes Infantry unit and a Psychana unit. This is, uh, it's a little interesting to me the way it's worded. I'm tempted to think, and we'll, we'll have to do some like rules arguing to actually figure it out. So don't, this is certainly not like official, but it seems to me that one of them has to be a Sisters of Silence unit and the other will be an, Adept an Adeptus Custodes in uh, Infantry unit um, or, or a Custode unit. But there is the possibility that, yeah, I don't, I don't know. So we're going to have to do a little rule arguing to think about the wording of that. Uh, and I don't, I don't, I'm not going to make an official ruling here, of course. So that could be decent or it could be hot garbage. <laughs> uh, then we have two enhancements. One, uh, uh, the gift of Terran artifice, which is cool. Each time the bearer makes a melee attack, add one to the wound roll. Um, okay. That seems kind of bad to me. Maybe it's good on a blade champion, but it doesn't sound good. It's so a one model gets plus one to the wound roll. That seems pretty freaking bad. And then we have the Radiant Mantle. Now, this actually looks like it could be something that's very good. This could be a very good enhancement for Custodes. Each time an attack targets the bearer's unit, if the attacking model is within 12 inches, subtract one from the hit roll. This actually could be quite good in certain scenarios. This seems like a very worthy enhancement, and I'd be happy to use it. The first one seems like it's kind of sucks. Um, but the way it goes is you're always going to have probably one enhancement that's less valuable than the others. The first one, uh, I assume that would be the 5 or 10 point enhancement that you would take if you have points for it. All right, and that's all they really gave us. So my initial thought process on this is that this is going to be hot garbage and it will never be used in competitive play. It might be really fun and cool to play in like a maybe Crusade or more casual play. I don't see this being really good, although I think it could be very, very easily like balanced to be really good. Um, it just it just reads so interestingly to me now because I'm uncertain if these tactics can if these uh, stratagems can be used on two custody units, or if it's one one of them has to be sister zones and the other is custody, and that is that would really really change it. It it, it does read a little strange to me. Uh, I'm sure other people read it perfectly, and I'm gonna get uh, murdered in the comments for not being 100 percent certain. But that's okay. So initially, I thought this is. Uh, swing and a miss, but you know, if there are certain things in the codex, such as a dedicated shooting unit for the Sisters of Silence, this could get significantly more impressive. Um, so as of now, I'm giving it a trash, but I would be really, really thrilled to be proven wrong when the codex gets in my greasy fingers so that I can dig through all of the awesome, awesome stratagems. As of right now, it's looking like the Orcs uh, release that the, the preview we got for Orcs yesterday was freaking amazing. And this one is not the best, but like I said, I'm looking forward to being able to dig through and make it work anyway. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and end the video. I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, I hope uh, you guys got some from my thoughts and... Yeah, I think that's basically it. Until next time, I'm I, I'm going to be back. I did film a new battle report today, so I'll get that posted up probably tomorrow. And I have some new uh, videos on move blocking and screening strategies that I think is going to be really valuable for you. That's going to be posted up later this week as well. So until next time, my happy crumpers, I hope you guys have an amazing evening or morning or day or whatever. And uh, crump on, baby. Cheers.